What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Model Building Corner. I'm Joe. Anyway, um, so this weekend I'm going to get worked on on both uh, the Street Machine Group build for uh, Jason over there at Blue Ox. That's due December 31st. And also the uh, 78 GMC 4x4. That's also due December 31st for Pat at Scale Car Dreams for uh, his group build, off-road group build. That's a street machine group build. So, what I got done... Oh! I hadn't smoked in two days in a row after Frank left those encouraging words. Again, the guy comes through. I, I didn't smoke for two days. My blood pressure was good. I took my cuff with me to work. I was checking it during the day. So on my way home yesterday, I stopped at the uh, clinic to get them to get a reading. Because remember I was saying I need to have three good readings in a row. And I was running out of time because I had till November 11th, I think it was, um, to get it done. That was the 90 days. So uh, I guess it turns out even on these new meds that the doctor put me on, my body, I'm just getting too old. I can't smoke no more because... Uh, as soon as I stop smoking, for a day at least, it comes. It would come right down, and probably too far down. He's probably he might have to back me off um, if I um, continue not to smoke, um, which that is my plan. Um, because when I'm not smoking, I'm down to like 117 over over like 64. So my ex-wife, she's she's a big big wig nurse. She's like you're fine. She's like, unless you're feeling something weird, that's fine. I'm like, okay, whatever. But anyway, so I went, they took the reading and he says, oh, why aren't you just getting your physical done? I'm like, cause this is only the first good reading. He's like, what are you talking about? And I said, well, I'm supposed to get three good ones in a row before you give me the one year card. He's like, no, we just got to do the physical again and you're fine. I'm like, oh, okay. So I wasn't going to tell him he's wrong because I know he's wrong. You got to get three good readings in a row. They have strict rules on that stuff. Same thing if you have diabetes. But anyway, so they did the physical, which all he did was listen to my chest, didn't do nothing else, and uh, gave me my one-year card. So I can be destructive until next year or I can do right by my body and continue not to smoke and continue not to drink and uh, everything will be good. So, again, Frank, I appreciate it. And, you know, another sad thing to say is uh, the same the same day, I, re I didn't read Frank's comment until the next day after that last video. And it was that same day while I was at work, I seen Craig's uh, video on the unfortunate passing of his brother. Um, so, you know, again, you know, my condolences out to Craig, Craig's Corner and, and your whole family, buddy. Um, but there was something that he said that also clicked in my head, you know, that, uh, you know, his brother was suffering from the cancer, had a collapsed lung, and he pointed out that he was a smoker. And it's always some little things that, that click in my head. I'm like, you know what, you know what, you got to do right by your body. So those two guys, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely taking it serious and, uh, you know, hoping for the best. But anyway... So, um, what I did so far on the on the four by four is the other day I took all the parts off the sprues and I uh, sanded them and cleaned them up and stuff. I'm not gonna. I think I'm gonna put the bed together. I'm pretty sure I should put the bed together before I before I primer and paint anything. Um, but I'm gonna primer it. I probably won't primer it this evening because it's already get, getting kind of late and I'm way behind on watching your guys' videos. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that this evening. Um, so um, I'll probably primer this in the morning. The uh, exhaust is pretty much molded in. The Yeah, the pipes are, are molded in at the very back, almost like the way, the way they, they would be glued. The mufflers are molded in. Yeah, so so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting that out because I want to use those new mufflers that uh, Don sent me. Don, if you're watching, buddy, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Is this the T-Press that you've been talking about? 
My Publix had it. It was cheap, so I picked it up. I'm going to put it in that box that I'm sending you. Uh, but if you're, if you're watching, uh, get a hold of me. I've been, trying to, I've been trying to text you and call you. But anyway, so uh, I'm going to use those mufflers. And you got a nice 4x4 four four that you've been building up and working on. If you want to get through mud and swamp and stuff like that, you need a good engine, right? So it's going to get that 572 big block that Don sent also in that package. So I'm going to figure out how to put that together. Terry and I were talking about that last night, Terry Sanders, um, that the, um, you know, a lot of times those 3D printed engines, I've never done one before, but he said a lot of times the, um, the printed head headers, uh, you have a hard time fitting them in a vehicle, but on this truck, I mean, there's so much room under those um, hoods that the engines look tiny in there. So I'm thinking that the and the and the heads kind of look. I, I keep saying heads, the uh, headers. Um, they almost look like not minis, but they 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 look they look they don't look like huge headers. So I, I don't think I'll have a problem with that with the headers that came with the engine to, to fit. So I'll be working on that over the course of the weekend. And then I'm also working on the Impala. And I think I decided I'm gonna go ahead and, um, it, actually it's not looking that bad, but I do, uh, I am gonna go ahead and shoot some more clear on the sides, get the sides a little shiny. And I might even go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and sand on the uh, rust area some more. And then um, I'm going to shoot that with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of primer, like, like the kid's been working on it. And I think I'm going to wear through the paint a little bit, a little bit of sun fade to where it starts showing a little bit of primer. Not a lot, just a little, just a hint, just a hint. So... If you remember, I got pretty far on, you know, the chassis painted. Obviously, that's going to be too shiny for a car that's been driven. So, I am going to weather the frame. I'll weather the underbody. Um, this, the interior could, could stay looking good. I got these parts uh, in black ready for me to shoot the chrome. I got my uh, engine block in... Uh, halves together but I didn't install anything on them I should I should probably get you guys closer in here but this is really just an update um, I'll probably pull the mufflers off of this too and put a set of mufflers on this so so yeah so this one's not going to take long at all what's this oh where I had the uh, putty attached so that's that. Uh, what else? Larry, your card fell down, buddy. So, again, I got to take the yellow, the, the um, cheap masking tape off and replace it with the uh, blue painter's tape. Oh, somebody else fell down. Who's the lucky victim? T-Dog! Your card fell down, buddy. So, we'll fix that up. And what else? Um, that's about it. I am expecting a, a um, shop card in the mail, but it hasn't gotten here yet. So, anyway, uh, I'll tell you what. It was really hard to uh, let me get you guys in here. It was really hard to uh, tell what the party lines were on a pickup cab. I've never done one before, really. Kind of, sort of. But I think I pretty much got it. There might be a sharp one on this A pillar. But I'm thinking I got something in my head to do to this truck. No fabrication. We're not going to have any repeats of uh, the uh, Cadillac. But I'm going to do something with the paint. Don't know yet. But I'm thinking. So that's going to be really cool. All right, and I think I'm going to leave this little quick, just make this a quick little update. Like I said, I'm going to get on YouTube, watch you guys. Also, uh, it's Friday night, so uh, Derek's Vice Grip Garage is going to be dropping here. <coughs> there's also, there's a guy, Kevin, 
uh, I can't remember his last name, but he used to be on uh, on the cable shows. Uh, he's from Canada, but he lives in Tennessee now. And the channel is called, I'll put a link in the description. It's Paint Paint Ucation. Um, you know, he works on real cars. He was on he was on Vice Grip Garage, and he's working on uh, Derek at Vice Grip had had bought a '74 Camaro that was in pretty rough shape. But anyway, in that episode, he ended up trading the Camaro to Kevin for something. I don't remember what. So on Kevin's channel, he's actually tearing this thing apart. Um, they were calling it the um, garbage Camaro, I think. But um, you know what he's doing, and I didn't think it was possible. Um, the body, the body itself, is the same as a '70. The quarter panels are a little bit different. The rear tail obviously is different. The floor, the uh, trunk pan is different. And as far as the front, the fenders are the same. So he bought all the parts from AMD to turn that '74 into a '70. And it's coming along really nice. So if you guys are interested in in uh, real car, real cars, it's a good it's a good series. He's still in the middle of it, so uh, I'll put the link in the description for his channel. Um, I uh, sent the link to Frank, thinking like while he's uh, recuperating, he can have some watching material. I don't know if he's watched it or not, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. You know what I got for dinner for Sunday? But I'm, I was thinking about doing it tomorrow, but put a pork shoulder. <laughs> and I'm going to marinate it. I bought, I bought a six-pack of pineapple juice. I'm going to marinate it in pineapple juice and lemon juice and brown sugar and soy sauce. And a little bit of... Uh, What's that stuff called? Ginger. Marianne? No, ginger. Ginger. So, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Because unless I shut up, I'm not going to say goodbye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching this quick update. And get something built this weekend. So, take care, everybody. Hey, I appreciate everybody. More of my subscribers. New guys. Old guys. Young guys, no. Uh, all, all of you guys, all you subscribers, including all you new guys, um, I still, I'm not forgetting you. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, um, I'm at, a I think I'm at 1,034. I keep losing some, gaining some, losing some, gaining some. So I'm sorry if I'm boring some of you guys and you don't want to stay with me. But anyway, um, my one year anniversary is also coming up a week before Christmas. And I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm tight on cash between the hurricane. Um, I lost, uh, like I said, I lost uh, two days on one check, two days on another check, one day on a, on a third check. So three, three checks in a row, I've been short. And that's where I make all my money is in my overtime. So um, I don't have the, the um, expendable cash at this moment. In fact, the, uh, the um, stash ad that I showed the other day, uh, somebody actually said it to me jokingly that I thought you were broke. I didn't pay for that stuff recently. I that was the Monte Carlo was a pre-order. So when I bought that stuff, I had paid for it last month, month and a half ago. So um, once the Monte Carlo was available, they shipped it. So um, I almost forgot it was even coming. But anyway, so what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to do two winners because let me finish my thought. Okay, so. Between the money that I lost over the storms and then uh, November and December is normally a slow two months for us. So I don't always get my full hours. So it's always every year it's a little bit of a tighter time period. Like you guys have been watching me from the beginning. If you remember, I, you know, there was like a, like a week went by where I had no supplies or nothing. I had to wait to get my Christmas bonus and that's when I went and got all my supplies and stuff. So... Hopefully, I can manage this before Christmas so that you guys will have it. But what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do two winners. And, I, and I'm thinking of doing the same thing, um, the uh, two gift certificates for um, Hobby Nut Models over there at Mark. 
Uh, I'll get a hold of him and let him know that I want to do that again. Um, maybe now that I'm a thousand subscribers, maybe he'll pitch something in. Maybe. And sweeten the pot a little bit. I'm not expecting that. I'm just talking off, you know, out of my mouth here. But anyway, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two winners. And, um, and then, you know, I won't announce it like I know, like we've been on the description. It's just going to be in a video. And so anyway, so, um, I'll make it an interesting video. Like maybe I'll do something like I'll put a keyword in the title, like MCW or look what I got from a uh, hobby nut model, something like that, you know, keywords, keep it on the down low. <coughs> I don't actually know if that really is a problem. Some guys say that they get a lot of scam people. <coughs> I go through the actual comments. If you're not a channel subscriber, uh, I delete your um, your comment so that you don't come up in the random draw. If you don't have a channel but you're a, you're a contributor, you um, I know you. You comment on my videos and stuff like that. You're you're included. So I've had. I think the very first one, somebody won that wasn't a, uh, didn't have a channel. Uh, Terry Sanders, he won the airbrush from Manny. He doesn't have a channel. And uh, he didn't have to gift it, uh, pay it forward, but he did. He paid it forward to me. So, you know, you can, you can never really tell, you know, you know, just because the guy doesn't have a channel don't mean he's not a builder or, you know, uh, you know, he wants to play along with the rules. So, you know, anyway, so... Uh, with that said, I'm going to shut up and eat some dinner and watch some videos. So everybody have a great evening, have a great weekend, get some stuff built, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.